No alarm clock necessary this morning. Yes, we heard it on Olive Mill. Yep, there was a shuttle. Just about gave me a heart attack as I was folding laundry. Holy crap, that scared me and my two cats. That was loud. Was it the shuttle? Damn, that was loud. Sounded like something big and heavy dropping on the ground. I thought the house was falling apart. We heard it in Winchester Canyon. Scared the crap out of us too. Yep, a successful landing. Yeah, it woke us up. It was pretty cool. We were woken at about 8.32 a.m. by two successive deep bass booms which shook our windows and set off a car alarm on the street. I jumped out of bed to find out what exploded. I was imagining a gas station blew up or something. Thanks for setting us straight. Very cool. Thanks for the report. My parents squawked and jumped off my shoulder. I wondered if there had been a gas explosion. I was following the shuttle online and waiting for the boom, and it still caught me by surprise. I think my wife slept through it. Don't know how. This may sound implausible, but that sonic concussion caused my laptop to power on. I'm trying to figure out whether it was due to the pressure wave or the resulting harmonics. Too nerdy for 9 a.m. Montecito rocked to life with an 836 sonic jolt. Welcome home, space shuttle. And thanks, Ed, for being on top of this story faster than a speeding rocket. 8.32 a.m. in Goleta, double boom too. Felt it quite strongly up on Westmont Road. Whoa, our family thought it was an earthquake or something exploding outside our house. Thanks for clarifying, the mystery's over. I was running on the trail, and me and my friend hit the dirt. I've heard sonic booms before, but that was crazy. Went to Edwards once to watch, and it's much better on TV. They kept us at least five miles away. The shuttle has that unique double boom. Nothing else sounds like it. Even though it has landed at Edwards in recent years, it has been a long time since the flight path was close enough to Santa Barbara for us to get the boom. However, once you've heard it, you won't be scared by it the next time, since it is so distinctive. We were very happy to hear it. It's been 20 years since I heard a shuttle double sonic boom that loud, and nearly 10 years since I heard any at all. I love NASA wake-up calls. The track came almost right above our heads. Too bad it was so gloomy this morning. Cool. I thought it was my neighbor's kids slamming their garage door. Heard and felt the double boom in San Inez, too. Thought it was a small earthquake at first, though. I didn't hear anything. Of course, I was taking a shower at the time, getting ready for church. Woo I was at Lake Los Caneros bird watching when the sonic boom went. Oddly enough, almost zero response from the birds and rabbits I could see. Waking up to the shuttle boom was a thrill. This may be the last time we hear this because the shuttle program ends next year. So sad, but that thrill lasted all day. My son and I were picking up highway litter on the island seed and feed stretch of Highway 217. We both turned and said shuttle simultaneously. That was a million dollar sonic boom since it cost that much to fly the shuttle to Florida now. Well, I can sleep through anything and the sonic boom is not exempt. Dang, I missed the big boom. Last I read in the papers, they were taking it to Florida willy nilly. When did they decide to bring it in at Vandenberg? What a big, loud double bang. Sitting at my computer, I heard extra loud noises coming from the room directly upstairs. Knowing that the sound was most likely the anticipated sonic boom, I listened, then ran outside, hearing reverberating rumbling, like the sound was bouncing around in the low gray clouds, slowly decreasing in volume, lasting several seconds. When I heard the garage door start rattling, and then the windows, I thought it was an earthquake, until the boom. Dang right I didn't need an alarm clock, woke me right up. If the shuttle made this much noise passing over us at 60,000 feet, imagine the noise it would make if it crashed into La Cumbre Peak. Just something to think about for those who think that the Hazelcita fire was started by a rocket from Vandenberg. That's kind of like the old logic bomb and philosophy 101. Socrates is a man, therefore all men are Socrates.
and everything I say is false.